Welcome. In this webinar, we're going to look at Orchestra, which is MP Store's data center management system. Uh, Orchestra is built uh, for OpenStack, so it integrates a number of OpenStack components as well as proprietary MP Store components. And the goal of Orchestra is to deliver operation efficiency in the cloud. If we look at the challenges in building a cloud service, you can see that the NIST.gov website uh, lists out a number of challenges such as rapid elasticity, measured service, uh, on-demand self-service, etc. And if we look at the status quo, not all of those challenges are met. But with Orchestra, we've improved upon the status quo. Um, so on the issue of rapid elasticity, we allow independent virtual machine and storage sizing for that virtual machine by using our automated SAN storage provisioning. In terms of measured service, Orchestra has a fairly comprehensive common management database which collects all of the statistics uh, for the data center, for all the data center stakeholders. For on-demand self-service, the lack of automation in, in, in many products um, has some pretty tough uh, effects for the data center, but Orchestra uses an automated storage farm uh, called Proviso. So Proviso is built upon the principles of automation and federation, which reduce greatly the data center operational expenditure cost. Um, the storage stack used by Orchestra is based on MP Stackware, and that provides quite a lot of uh, features for resource pooling and multi tenancy. So, what is Orchestra? Orchestra is a set of tools built around OpenStack to manage a private, or a public cloud. And the key components of Orchestra are Proviso, which is an automated scale-out provisioning system, MP Stackware, which is a full-featured storage stack, which runs on any x86 compatible system, a set of data center management tools, and tools that uh, wrap around OpenStack to make it easy for the data center to deliver an infrastructure as a service uh, solution. So one of the problems that you see in uh, delivering virtual machines to end users is the pizza slice problem, whereby <clears throat> if a user decides that he wants to use a certain amount of core and CPU uh, and a certain amount of disk in an integrated server storage box, um, he pretty soon finds that one of the resources will be completely used up. So in this case of two VMs, uh, both using a large amount of disk, you can see that there's quite a bit of core and memory wastage. So typically what providers do is they give a pizza slice, a slice of the box to a user. And that way, there is no wastage. However, the user does wind up having to take a virtual machine that's perhaps not right-sized for his application. So integrated service storage has two problems. One, if you pick any slice, then the service provider is going to have waste. And if you force the user to have a pizza slice, then the end user will have waste because his virtual machine may not be right-sized for his application. So you need a better solution. Now, the better solution is all around, our centers around the provisioning challenge. And what MP Store has done is we reduce that operational expenditure by automating provisioning in the data center. And we reduce the capital expenditure by making sure that our storage operating system, MP Stackware, can run on any x86 uh, box. So more automation means lower cost, more control over your, over your services, and how you deliver them. So the solution consists of splitting the infrastructure into compute nodes and storage nodes, implementing an automation engine uh, in the sitting on top of the storage nodes, that automation engine's role is to collect any storage uh, that you add to the system completely automatically. The compute nodes can then make a request for storage. So this isn't an administrator pushing out a, a, a volume. It's the compute nodes requesting storage. That storage is then provisioned and returned back to the compute node. And it, when it's returned, 
the compute node knows where to access it, how to access it, and what credentials it needs to access it. That storage could be provisioned over iSCSI, over fiber channel SAN, over SAS SAN, over InfiniBand, whatever back-end storage SAN that you have. So if you can do that for one, then you can scale it out, obviously, um, to many compute nodes and many storage nodes. And not only that, but you can right size your VM, set your VM to whatever number of cores and whatever amount of memory you'd need, and right size your storage to whatever storage size you need. So this is one of the main benefits of splitting compute nodes and storage nodes into two um, pieces of infrastructure. You can allocate independently your VM and your storage. If the storage farm needs more storage, well, then you just plug it in. Uh, by virtually plugging in the storage, the storage gets added to the storage pool uh, of the automation engine. So it's a, clearly a scale-out solution. Just plug it in and it gets added. And this gives a number of benefits. So the benefits of automation are to the end user. He's able to have his project sized correctly. So he can have small VM and a large amount of storage, or a large VM and a small amount of storage. Not only that, there's an additional benefit in that you can set the service level agreement of the virtual machine infrastructure and the storage infrastructure. And this is a point that we'll come back to in further in the presentation. The benefits of the service provider are that there's lower OPEX because he has automation, analytics, lower management costs, and he's lower CAPEX because he's using off-the-shelf hardware for the storage without any loss of functionality. Um, MP Stackware runs on any x86 box. So what is Proviso? So Proviso is a scale-out storage solution. So for, if it's for delivering infrastructure as a service. So it allows us to add more nodes on either side, compute or storage, Just add them in. Proviso will, will, will manage that. Proviso also understands the concept of infrastructure tiers. So I can set my tiers up as gold, silver, bronze. I can then understand the requests from those various tiers and then provision the storage accordingly. So this is a great benefit in setting service level agreements. You could have a, a gold uh, service level agreement and people who would provision from that tier would get gold quality and silver and bronze accordingly. So what does this mean to a service provider? Service provider can now provide a flexible set of products ranging from low cost to higher cost. Those products will run in different type of compute groups, such as a gold, silver, bronze compute group. Those compute groups would use different storage groups, and we can set up logical mappings between the bronze, silver, and gold compute groups with the orchestra tools. And behind those groups are real pieces of infrastructure, which would range from GIGI, iSCSI SANS, all the way to fiber channel or SAS solid state disks. And that's all of the type of infrastructure that orchestra can manage. So practically, if we then have users who are going to request products from one of those categories, such as a bronze, then the orchestra toolkit will just dispatch that virtual machine to the bronze infrastructure and create the storage in that bronze category storage. And the same for gold, and the same for whatever, whatever user request. And we can see here that not only are the volumes and the virtual machines right-sized, but also the service level agreement is, uh, is appropriate to whether it's a gold, silver, or bronze uh, product that the provider is, is, is selling. So Orchestra, in the actual data center when it's being deployed, can be deployed in a number of different configurations. A very simple one is an all-in-one configuration to sum in one or one in one. So one in one would be a production uh, type environment where a data center is offering infrastructure as a service in a utility cloud model. Uh, an all-in-one might be a very simple 
private cloud publicly hosted. So this is what an all-in-one configuration looks like. Minimal hardware, a lot of storage functions and cloud functions combined into one uh, system. Some in one configuration would have uh, computes split out as independent. And one in one configuration has all of the storage functions split out into individual units. Additional parts of the orchestra pack package are the service provider portal. This is a uh, provider portal that's uh, just part of the package to help service providers get up with a get up quickly with a, a user facing portal that user facing portal allows the user to configure his virtual machine and unlike the opposition or un unlike the competition you can select your core your storage and your operating system all of these can be selected in independently and you have additional features such as backup, snapshot, and replication as part of the package. The user also has his own dashboard. Um, so this is quite similar in, to the OpenStack dashboard, except it has been enhanced with features that aren't available in, in standard OpenStack. MP Store has um, enhanced this with additional features for the user. In terms of the data center tools, there's a set of data center tools that allow the provider to set up and manage the orchestra installation. So there's a an admin portal, and that's for the data center to manage and view uh, his cloud. A tool for setting up racks and which systems are installed in which racks. Um, the configurator, that's used to set up the compute and storage group relationships that we looked at earlier, the relationships of gold, silver, bronze, and the CMDB browser. So a lot of information um, about the logical and physical topology of the data center is captured in the CMDB browser, and all of that can be viewed and browsed. So this is an example of where we're browsing a compute group and we're looking at the storage that's associated with that compute group and the various storage nodes um, in the storage group. And we can continue to drill down and the data center manager can drill down into the storage node and pull up the storage node. So he has a, a single pane of management um, from within his CMDB viewer. So, in conclusion, what does Orchestra provide? It provides an OpenStack installer using an all-in-one, a sum-in-one, a one-in-one configuration. It provides an automation tool, Proviso, which is the scale-out storage farm manager. As part of the Proviso, there is an extended virtual machine scheduler for OpenStack so that the virtual machine can be launched in the correct server infrastructure. Uh, this is an extension of OpenStack. There's MP Stackware Storage Array. So this is a full-featured storage array allowing the management of a very large number of disks and a lot of storage features such as replication, snapshot, volume virtualization. This storage software runs on any x86 box. There is a set of data center management tools to allow you to do customer management and OpenStack project management. There is the single pane of uh, management for browsing the entire uh, topology and looking at all of the analytics of the data center. There is the project usage tracking for billing. And then finally, there's the end user portal to allow the end user to manage his virtual machines uh, and storage and the service provider portal. And with that, there's also an e-commerce sample site. So if you'd like to know, learn a little bit more about Orchestra, please visit the mpstore.com forward slash Orchestra website for further information. Thank you very much for listening.
y 